Alex Walker. That's right. DC Davis, Wilson, CID. Oh. What's up? Is that your car? You had some complaints about the alarm. Well, you need one around here. Even so, would you mind demonstrating how loud it is? I'll sort it. Make sure you do. I don't want to have to come around here again. Fair enough. Are we done now? Uh, I'm in a bit of a rush. We are, and thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Left there about ten minutes ago. The owner just got back to find the house broken into, the car keys gone from the hall table, and no sign of her BMW on the driveway. Her BMW. Alex Walker is a woman. She is. Tell me she lives with her husband or boyfriend. Alone. Yes. England's green and pleasant land. We made it. <laughs> Who's for going in? Aye. Aye. Come here! Aye. Aye! Six minutes! Charge. You're outside the gate. How's it going? <clears throat> I've known the groom for his past five girlfriends, though not in a biblical sense. What is that two rugby club? Oh, it's like a bloody tour de France out there. They're mates in the cells. What for? Crimes against fashion. Hey, what sort of shoes are they? Prada. And that's yours. Hush puppies. Why? Ever get the feeling we're giving all the rubbish jobs? Yeah, it crossed my mind. <sighs> Manager says he's not an employee. No sign of the gun? No wallet, no ID. Dental records. Not where you'd want to end up. Engine oil? How'd you get here, Mr. Clements? Somebody dumped him. He might have arrived in the back of a rubbish truck. We haven't had it to that pile in weeks. And you can tell we've not been dead that long. Would it be easier to get in here and dispose of a body? Depends how determined you were. You can't just stroll in with a stiff and drop them off, if that's what you mean. A 
According to the pathologist who was attending, he died between 8 and 10 p.m. the night before last from a single shot to the head, close range. Body was moved after death. Ballistics? Bullet lodged in his collarbone. That's lucky. Not for him. What's that smell? Is Frank Moore your neighbour? Hi, Babylon. We need to contact his wife. He dead? What makes you say that? That bad news look on your face. Not while I'm on duty. Oi! Get away from my car! Did you know Frank well? Enough man. He lived next door five years. Good neighbour? Tell me about him. Frank, the real hero. Medals and all that. Used to be in the army. Mrs. Moore. When I started going out with Frank, he made me feel so safe. Now look at him. Chucked away like a piece of rubbish. It's important I know what sort of man he was. Decent. When I got pregnant with Carla, we'd only been seeing each other a couple of weeks. <laughs> the idea of marriage hadn't entered our minds. But he asked me to be his wife. Never even suggested that I shouldn't keep the baby. Did he have any enemies? No. Well, not that I know of. Money problems? No more than anybody else. So he wasn't involved in anything criminal? Definitely not. We've been together nearly 20 years. <laughs> I can still remember how good he looked in his uniform. <laughs> I met him at the compasses opposite the armor base. I was on a night out with the girls. When did Frank leave the army? Uh, five years ago. Why? I wanted him around more often. So I kept on till he agreed. Did he still have a gun? Kept it in there. What sort? A handgunner. I don't know the make. Was it suicide? Forensics ruled that out. I'm sorry, but Frank was murdered. Mum's on the phone, Carla. Frank's dead. Give her the shiner. Probably. Called to a domestic disturbance there a couple of years ago, but she never pressed charges. She got an alibi for the other night? 
Then she drove off around 6.30 p.m. Then she went to visit her daughter. That was the last time she saw him or his car. Well, that's convenient. Bullet was from a tucker of handgun, not army issue. Eastern European available here on the black market. It's good work. The uh, serious crimes directorate have been on apparently, as it looks domestic, they're leaving it to us, but if it develops, and upstairs have asked me to put a more senior detective on the case. They're worried in case it gets political. Gov, I've done all the flipping legwork. I know. I told them you're on top of it. Understood. Dangerous. Was there something else, Gov? No, no, nothing. Shut the door again on your way. He just try and tell you something and then clam up. Same here. Is there really that little going on up there? Will you talk to the police? Don't mention all the bother. Like I would. Private Carla Moore. Yeah, that's right. Later, yeah. I have to ask you some questions. I'm listening. We don't know where your dad was the night he died. He was probably off somewhere trying to find himself. You sound angry at him. I am. He survives the Gulf and then Bosnia, but he gets killed in Wilsdon. What's that all about? Base instructor. How was it growing up on an army base? Good. I imagine your dad was strict. There were lots of rules in our house, yeah, but it's not like he had been marching around the place or anything. You just knew if you crossed the line, there'd be trouble. You didn't have a problem with that. Well, it'd be stupid to join the army otherwise. Right, Sherlock? You know where you are with rules. We had a routine. Dinner was on the table at seven. Clothes ironed, boots polished. That routine? Was he sticking to it lately? No. Your mum mentioned he got into climbing and hiking. Yeah, that's right. She reckoned he was going native on us. But I didn't see as much of him as I should have, so, you know, maybe I'm not the best person to ask. How was your relationship? Relationship? What is this? An interview for Cosmo? The truth is, he always wanted a boy. I knew it growing up. He loved it when I joined the army. But then he just, he just seemed to go off the idea. And you can't go through life trying to please other people. Your mum says she was with you on Monday night. Yeah, I cooked at dinner. She left at 11. Yeah, about that. How did they get on? All right. A few rounds like everyone else, but nothing to write home about. It took him a while to adjust to him being around a lot, but, you know, once Dad opened the business with Craig, it was fine. You know he kept a gun in the house. I'm here to see Craig Thorne. You got an appointment? Yes. 
found the corridor white door. Thank you. Don't mention it. Some more tissue. No, no, it's, it's fine. I'm sorry about that. These city boys, they, they get a bit excited, shoot anything that moves. How long were you in business together, Mr. Thorne? Uh, about five years. Frank was having a drink with an old mate of mine in a bar in Puerto Banus. We were talking, and as it happened, I was trying to set up an activity based enterprise, and he just left the army. <laughs> Turned into a bit of a session. An urban mayhem was born. How was he last time you saw him? What do you mean? State of mind. Oh, uh, moody. Probably been like that for ages. I haven't seen him smile for about two years. Not since... Uh, not for a while. He had a kind of, uh, I don't know... Breakdown, I suppose. A bloke on one of the teams started pissing about. This is the SLA! <laughs> giving Frank a hard time. Oh, I'm breaking it. Anyway, shoot your own, would ya? Frank! No! He flipped out. Then stopped firing. Ah! Frank, no! Stop it! Ah! Ah! Game over. People like me who give their lives for assholes like him. Sounds a lot worse than it was. But you know what people are like these days, they'll sue you as soon as look at you. Bloody compensation culture. It was reported. No, settled quietly. But Frank wasn't allowed to work with the clients anymore, and our corporate reputation took a kick in. It was a liability, you'd say. Uh, he had his faults, don't we all? Anyway, from then on. He looked after the armory, he did stuff in the office, but it wasn't him. I offered to buy him out, he said he'd think about it. He might have been obsessively organised, but he didn't understand business, money. What was it? The root of all evil. He was religious. Lapsed, but you know what they say, once a Catholic. Business doing well. We get by. So what happens now? Does Frank's wife get his share? Yeah. I'm thinking of buying her out. We'll need to know where you were Monday night. I was at home. Can you confirm that? I live alone. I'll leave you to it then, shall I? Oh, I meant to ask, are there any real guns on the premises? No. And the paintball guns are specially made, so they can't take live ammunition. Thanks. Boyden's expecting me. Right here. Oh, 
follow signs to car parks free. <laughs> Sorry about this. Any chance of a push? It's a real shame. Warrant Officer Moore used to be a first-class soldier. You knew him? Of him. The medals. The reputation. He could be a difficult man to deal with, apparently. Great in combat, less so in the camp. Sometimes think the brass care more about the latter, unfortunately. Still, you probably know all about that, Sergeant. Constable. Hmm. Difficult how? Old school. Not afraid to clip a few ears, bark orders, turn boys into soldiers. Prepare them properly. That approach is out of favour. I've arranged for you to meet the remaining members of his former squad. Don't worry, Constable. They've been ordered to behave. I just got back from Iraq. And I'll admit there wasn't a single day I didn't wish Frank was with me. He was brave. Yeah. But more important, he was a laugh. <laughs> Sounds like a great blame. The best. Did he have any enemies? Morris dancers. <laughs> <laughs> tell him about that thing that happened in that place that time, Phil. No, no, you tell it, Michael. You tell it about. <laughs> we were down our local, <clears throat> and Frank challenged these Morris dancers to a drinking competition. Loser had to streak through town, and Frank lost. <laughs> Frank was picked up by the cops, start bollock naked in the centre of town. <laughs> <laughs> and he told them that a bunch of pissed up Morris dancers had mugged him for his uniform. <laughs> the whole lot of them spent the night in the nick. <laughs> <sighs> That's all you need to know about Frank. Actually, I need to find out who murdered him. Sound easy. Men being helpful? Absolutely. Good. I'll have uh, Warrant Officer Moore's record sent to your station. Thanks. And you got my number. Corporal Doyle, come and see me later. I've got a job I want you to volunteer for. Yes, sir. Have any of you seen him recently? Tell me about the medals. When we was in Bosnia, the squad went on a reconnaissance patrol. My Genzi was on point, a little further ahead of the other lads than I should have been. We came under fire from a sniper. All it went right through me. So I'm sprawled out on the ground, in the open, and I'm thinking, this is the end. This is it. Game over. The sniper's waiting for one of the lads to come out and get me. So he can take us both out. I knew it would be Frank. Even so, I remember thinking, what a natter. Didn't hesitate. Not for a second. Then I felt him pick me up and run for cover. Bullets whizzing by. The lot. They all missed. Every bloody one of them. It was like he had some sort of invisible shield wrapped round us. That's how you get medals. Why did he leave the army? He didn't. Army left him. Cutbacks. Everything all right, Corporal? Yes, sir. Even Charles Sarge had to start somewhere dangerous. Fancy a pint? Never seen an ugly one. 
always thought I'd be heroic if the situation presented itself. Just a cruel lack of opportunity. I don't think they looked at it as an opportunity more. They're soldiers, not entrepreneurs. I read that if you save a person's life, it will become your responsibility. Or is it the other way around? Either way, let's hope we never have to find out. Edith says we're soulmates. Everyone has one. The tricky bit is just recognising them. Yeah? Sounds like it's getting serious. I guess love and the gentle heart really are but a single thing. It's a lot of responsibility looking after a child. Yeah. Sonia's great. Bright as a button. Just like her mum. We're taking her to the zoo. Say hi to the hippos. Who was that? Just a bloke I nod at. Just a bloke you nod at? Yeah, in the pub. Does it bother you your job can be done by a street lamp? Not really. I'm the one getting five quid an hour. <laughs> What did I say about taking work home with you? Yeah, yeah. This is over now, right? And I don't want to see you two again.
you taste anybody for a spot of karaoke? Hey, 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 everything's fine. Take it easy. Well, put down the gun. I'm a police officer. Stay away from me. You don't want to do this, not over a mobile phone. Close it up. Where'd you get this? Found it. When? Days ago. Before we not stupid, I wouldn't carry a loaded gun around in my pocket. Odd song. Tongue through Carlos prints all over the gun. If you were shot here, someone would have heard it. And it's a long way from the rubbish dump. If you're looking to get rid of a body, you'd find somewhere close, son. The kids spend a whole of Monday night in the cells at Kensal Rise, like he said. Shoplifting in Notting Hill. Top trumps. You know the cards with motors on? Oh, those were great. I wonder where he got them. Listen. Tell your mate Twinkle Toes to lay off my missus or he'll have me to deal with. Seriously. All <laughs> oh, right. Well, Jez is on royal protection, so I reckon he can look after himself. He actually is dangerous. Dangerous. The gun you had, her man was shot dead with it. Not by me. Actions have consequences. The moment you pick up a gun loaded or not, straight away things get serious. You could have been killed last night. Armed response, they don't mess about, Shane. Your mother's upstairs going out of her mind with worry. You want to put her through that again? Well, do you? Huh? Then stop being a thug. Apparently you're a smart kid. Your art teacher says you've got talent. You're not just a vandal. Maybe. So why hang about with those losers? They're just mates, all right? We look after each other. They won't be able to if you're locked up with a bunch of young offenders. You know what happens there? You get institutionalized. You know what that means? Tell me. I'd keep going back to prison like my dad. Exactly. How long's he inside for? Halfway for a 15 year stretch. If I have these charges dropped, will you get your act together? Yeah, definitely. You won't get another break like this. Don't mess it up. I won't. Blimey. Talk about a black mark on your record. Seems Frank had a bit of bother at the base, though, as for what happened. I grow with his squad. Admitted to Wilsdon A&E six weeks ago, suffering from concussion, bruised face and scratches. Domestic. Frank was six foot, weighed about 14 stone. Cathy's no bigger than you. She'd need help getting his body to the dump. Have to be someone close to her, someone she could trust. Relative. Or a neighbour. Is your dad home? Do you know where he is? Mr. Bradshaw! Love you, Lan. I need a word. 
Why didn't you mention the domestic disturbance at Frank's flat? That was two years ago, man. Judging by the call-out report, it was a pretty big fight. Not the only time. No, but you never reported it again. What for? I didn't think she'd do nothing about it. You think she did something? Sometimes them screaming at each other. Sometimes it was Frank did the screaming. His body was found at the rubbish tip at Moreland Street. Why are you trying to say? We don't use Moreland Street. Why the hell I kill Frank? Him never hassle me. Protect Kathy? You don't believe that Babylon. I don't believe in bad coincidences. Thought you was different, but you're all the same. You see your brother, you think you're the Look. Life is a bad coincidence. That's his. You sound certain. I am. I found this. It's for a large padlock. Any ideas? No. I hear Mr. Thorne is thinking of buying your share of the business. Thinking about it, the deal's already done. He's in such a hurry. Greed does that to people, doesn't it? Makes them callous. You said before that Frank left the army to be with Hugh and Carla, but he didn't, didn't he? He was part of the cutbacks. He never told me. After everything we did for them. All that sacrifice, and, and for what? Crack money and a load of cheap tat! A load of ungrateful bastards, and you can tell them that I said that! First they look after you, then they beat you up. Yeah, talk about schizophrenic. How long had Frank been hitting you? Come on, Cathy. I know police officers were called here to a domestic incident. I know about the fights. It's just Snake's dog sticking his oar in. He was worried about you, Mr. Bradshaw. I was just being nosy, if you ask me. He didn't want his help? Help with what? Good luck. Frank wasn't always like that. <laughs> he never used to lay a finger on me. Not recently. hated himself for hurting me. You bitch! I meant it, Frank. That's the last time. Hit me again and I'll kill you. He wanted things to be the way they were when we first met. Like, how could they be? I was young then. I'd... I swapped a domineering father for a domineering husband. But you change. Been what with him away and me at home raising Carla on my own for months at a time. I had to become independent. I don't think he knew how to handle that. If it was self-defense, now's the time to say. Just because he hit me towards the end doesn't mean that I murdered him, detective. Frank went to A&E six weeks ago. According to the nurse, it was a domestic. I hit him, I hit him back. Just, just once. I lost it. He was so shocked he didn't do anything. He just, he just stood there while I, while I hit him. Were you really with Carla that night? I really was. She knew he hit you. Frank was her dad. Now he wasn't perfect, but we loved him. That's the truth. Now you believe it.
Can't have been easy. Knowing he beat her up. Must have wanted to do something about it. Yeah. Persuade Mum to get a divorce. But she wouldn't. She's too loyal. Which didn't leave you any option. If you say so. The gun was in your home. It's their home. I don't believe you just sit back and let him beat her. Whoever shot Frank knew what they were doing. It was quick and clinical. Practically everyone he knew could handle a gun. Most of them were trying to kill. Anyone in particular? One of the lads from his squad? Is that it, Detective? Eight different sets of prints on the gun. It'd be a nightmare using call. Shane and his mates passed it around. <sighs> this investigation is turning into a right pain in the arse. He's had more calls today than 0898 spanked me harder. <laughs> Chief Constable, the works. It's not as if we're trying to fit on the bloody Pope or something. Dangerous. I need a result on this dangerous now, or we're going to lose it. I don't want that, understand? Yes, Gov. It wouldn't look good. No, Gov. On you, or me, or the department. I told them you could handle it. Can you? We can handle it, Gov. Well, chop, chop, then. And what's this I hear about you giving a woman's car keys to some bloke who broke into her house? Ah, oh, been meaning to mention that. Well, just forget about it. <coughs> Dangerous. I am sorry for all the crappy things I've done and said to you over the years. You didn't deserve to have such a hard time. You are a good, solid copper. <clears throat> well, no, that wasn't easy. I can imagine. Doesn't make me a soft touch. Of course not. Well, off you go then. I try not to give any more cars away. if she wanted to go out tomorrow night, but she's got a salsa lesson. Yeah. So I offered to go with her, only she doesn't think that's a good idea. Right. But Julie wouldn't go on her own. No. Loser buys a takeaway. You're on. Didn't say who she was going with. But it was bloody twinkle toes. I want to do something about that. Like what? You're the blazer. Two's tires. Just no idea. I'd have to be cleverer than that. He's a DS. He'd trace it back to me. Yes! Oi! There he comes! There was engine oil on Frank's boots, which seemed pretty recent, and his Ford Escort still missing. Who got me? Hi, can we have uh, number nine, two twenty-sevens, a nineteen, and a four, please? Checked all the car pounds. No sign. Which sign? My guess is either he was killed at home, his body transported in his car, then both dumped, or he drove somewhere that night, maybe to meet someone. That someone killed him, and his car still parked there. And we found a key for a large padlock. Engine oil, a missing car, and a key to a large padlock. What about a lock-up garage? It's not bad. No, more. That's the one oh, I Bingo. Yeah, he rented it last month. 
paid cash but didn't want any paperwork sent to his house. Was he here often? Yeah, fair bit. Mostly in the evenings he turned up and spent a lot of time inside with the uh, door shut. Must be one he got cut. I mean, all our keys are colour coded. You better wait here. Right. In your mobile. I've been trying to call. Forgot to charge it up last night. Craig Thorne withdrew just over fifty thousand pounds from the Urban Mayhem account two days after Frank was killed. The rubbish dumps down that way. I'm glad you could come, Stephen. Would have meant a lot to him. The least I could do. I have a favour to ask. Name it. Can you say a few words about Frank? Rather not, Cathy. Please. I'm no good at public speaking. He was your friend. Typical of Frank, they were on the wreck. Rather than at the base or in church. He was always contrary. To the point that it drove you nuts. I think it's what made him a hero. But to me, Frank was more than that. He was like a father and a brother. He came from the same sort of place. Rough, not many prospects. A couple of tearaways. Father was long gone. No good at school. Guess that's why we got on so well. He seemed to find himself in the army. Became the soldier's soldier. Helped his men to become the people they wanted to be. The best soldiers. The best of friends. The best. Or maybe he did it the old fashioned way. But we need men like Frank. Fighters. Heroes. Not afraid to get her hands dirty. There's not many left now. And that is a terrible bloody shame. Sorry. Thanks. We must talk. Would you like me to say something? I want to know why he's dead, Stephen. We all do. And who killed him? Get them to talk at the base. Police won't get anywhere, but you can. Can you do that for us? For Frank? Or is that all just talk back there? What if I find out who killed him? You do what Frank would have done.
Try to clean this, got it out there. The paint? No. Oh, yeah, no problem. Frank really was a good friend of mine, you know. I get the feeling they all think different. They didn't see us together when we started out. <laughs> we had big ideas. Now I just want to sell up, go and live in Spain, and have a quiet life. Yeah, I understand you had some offers to buy the business. It's early days. There was an unusually large withdrawal the other day, which pretty much cleaned you out, over 50,000 pounds. We had some debts, I paid them. In cash. They weren't the sort of people that take a check. Spell it out for me, what sort of people were they? Loan sharks. Frank's idea, not one of his best. We needed money in the beginning, and no bank would lend us any, so we borrowed where we could. Were well, they after Frank for the money? How do you mean? Did they kill him? No. Then why pay off the whole lot at once, days after he was murdered? Frank stopped them from getting heavy. They didn't mess with him, and I'm not, well, I'm not Frank. <laughs> Oh, nice one. So very generous of you. Frank. Frank. Frank, 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 Frank. Frank. Corporal Doyle not around? Mm. He's out back at the base. They never really got on. I read Frank's military record, but it's hard to make sense of. He had some run-ins with the MPs towards the end. Do you know what about? Why didn't they get on? The lads don't want me talking to you. They reckon you're out to make a name for yourself. They right. I expect a certain amount of obstruction from the brass, but Frank was your mate. Somebody shot him and he dumped his body with a load of stinking rubbish. I need to find out who did it and why. Frank. It was too tough on Phil as a recruit. Phil's from a different generation. He wasn't ready for Frank's methods. So one day, Phil just snapped and attacked him. It took three of us to drag him off. Sounds serious. Stop Phil from being promoted for a couple of years. What about the trouble with the MPs? <sighs> I'm just trying to find his killer. He found out a soldier from another unit was screwing Monkford's wife while we was away in Bosnia. A low life. Knocked her up, then dumped her. Frank paid him a visit. Taught him a lesson. A low life's name? Bob Wenchurch. He's dead. Frank killed him? Nah. The Yanks did. <laughs> Friendly fire. Ah. 
Okay. More than anything. There's a but. I can't go through all that torment again. It's too hard. It makes too much out of me. Mine on the table. Figures. Should go back. She's probably lying there waiting for you. Too late. I sometimes imagine how simple my life would be if I'd ever met her. When she smiles or looks at me in a certain way. When I feel it. The ache never seems to go away. Edith said I was the only man she'd let into her life since she split with her husband. The following week? You call her yet? Tomorrow. You've got to know when to make the move dangerous. Women, they can smell desperation a mile off. I thought that was horses. Pause it. What is it, Sergeant? A mission to speak openly, sir. Go ahead. What are we doing to investigate Frank Moore's murder, sir? It's in hand. Could you be more specific, sir? Look, I know you were close, but this isn't doing anyone any good. You saved my life, sir. I understand. All I want to know is what's being done, sir. Everything that can be. We look after our own. DC Davis, back again? Missed you at Frank's memorial service. I didn't want to be a hypocrite. I heard you were close. Not particularly. You blame him for not being promoted? That was years ago. More time for it to fester. What exactly are you saying, Detective? A vehicle from your unit was caught on camera near the scene of the crime at the time he died. Doesn't mean it was me. He bullied you, made your life a misery, almost destroyed your career. But I'm still here. I got me rank. I got a beautiful wife, great kids, if I'm honest. I even owe some of that to Frank. He made me a proper soldier, I won't forget that. When you attacked him, it took three of them to drag you off. <sighs> you just don't get the army. Then help me understand. We train, live and fight together. Right? We do things for queen and country that will make you puke. You don't have to like someone to trust them with your life. No? No. It's a squad against the world. That doesn't go away. It's like family. Sometimes you argue, sometimes you fight. Sometimes that's what's needed. And that makes you what? The black sheep? <sighs> Maybe. Frank never owned me like he did the others, because I never let him. I didn't join up to find a father figure. What do you mean, like the others? How did he own them? He was a leader. They trusted him completely. They followed him into any situation, no matter how dangerous. Any one of them would have laid their lives down for him in a heartbeat. Even after he left the army? The bonds forged in war last a lifetime, detective. Bond strong enough to kill? In some cases. Save a person's life and they become your responsibility. Or is it the other way around? That's how we live.
Looks like someone's cleaned it. Uh, the gate lock's got 29 L return the base at 0040 hours, but there's no record of who's behind the wheel. You were on manoeuvres the next day? Uh, yeah. Going somewhere, Sergeant? Apparently, somewhere in the Middle East. Don't sound too happy about it, would you? Depends on my situation. Meaning what? If I was in trouble, six months in Iraq might sound like an all right option. No trouble here. What were you doing in Wilsdon the night Frank died? Wilsdon? There's no one near it. The Land Rover you were driving caught on a traffic camera just down the road from Frank's locker. You've got the wrong soldier. These pliers were used to cut the rubbish dump's wire fence. Still got fragments of its black paint on them. I bet your prints are all over the handles. I don't know what you're talking about. One of the motor pool mechanics was working late, getting things ready for the maneuvers. He saw you washing the back of the Land Rover just before 1 a.m. the night Frank was murdered. You can run from the police or the army, but not both. I fight for my country. Put my life on the line. That's who I am. Who the hell are you? Tell me what happened. Piss off! You're not my commanding officer. I don't have to say nothing. You've never been in combat. You've not earned the right to know what happens between men who would die for each other. This isn't a war. Frank was a civilian. Do you think he knows the difference? It's over. Stephen Kay, I'm arresting you for the murder of Frank Moore. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense. We got a call. Out of the blue. He was in a hell of a state. So he'd kill himself unless we met. So I drove to the lockup. Then what? Frank wanted to die. The man who saved my life made me end his. Frank! No! Put the gun down. I need you to do it. Before I really hurt them. He told me that six weeks ago, he woke up in the middle of the night. Realised that if he didn't kill Kathy, she'd kill him. I can't switch it off. I want you to switch it off for me, Steve. Please. He couldn't stop being a soldier. He couldn't stop hurting people, fighting people. Only this time, it was the people he loved. They'll be better off without me. They can get on with their lives, be happy, free, safe. Be all the things I can't. You want to die? You can do it yourself. I can't! I'm trying, but I can't pull the trigger! You have this way of getting at you. Make you do things there. Afterwards, you couldn't believe you'd gone through with it. Frank. Frank the indestructible. Couldn't even kill himself. Went against orders. Finish it, soldier! I want to see Stephen. Frank was his hero.
They've just taken him back for debriefing. We'll get him back as soon as the court case comes up. I don't like this any more than you do, trust me. Cheer up. You've got a guilty man, you've done a good job. Want a drink? Orange juice. Sergeant K pulled the trigger, but I'm not sure he's guilty. I still think it's too big. The room's not too big, it's a flat that's too small. <laughs> Cold Edith. Her husband's back on the scene. So they're gonna give it another shot for the kids. And... You alright? It's trouble with soulmates. What are you supposed to do when they're not around? Keep going. Wait here. 